Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and let's speak about great game of Sergei Karakin and maybe this game should be the game of this year because this is an absolutely fantastic game and I hope you will enjoy it. So, what's going on? Sergei Karakin in quarterfinal first match against Shankland lost and he need to win right now. He got only one day, one chance and one game and he need to do it in a French defense because Black is playing French defense and everybody know that French defense is a really solid uh, opening and Black is without weaknesses, maybe a little bit passive, but okay, if Black is playing for draw, French defense is a good choice. So why do you need to do something and he need to win a5? Why not? Uh, probably Black will play a4 and if he can, a3. So that's good idea to play a3 first and not allowed black to play move a3. Still nothing important is going on because short castle knight to c6 and rook to e1. I believe that these moves are okay and black's got a small small difficulties but only small because he is passive. Okay, he is going for a short castle and white is playing move e5. This move means that white is winning space and space is of course important. Yes, of course, this is not a winning advantage, but it's a small move getting a small advantage. You know, it's a question if this pawn is weak or if this pawn is strong. At least it's a really important pawn for white. So knight F1 is a good move because, for example, in case of importance to defend this pawn, bishop to f4 it's on the way, and nobody will stop white to play bishop to f4, b5. So black is really active on this side of the chessboard, and uh, it's up to white what he will play. Okay, if black is active on the left side, it's good to be active on the right side, and on the right side is black's king. So makes sense that white will play for the attack. Of course, white is playing for win, and he is not interesting to play uh, end game. He is interesting to beat black or to find way how to beat him. So move h4 makes sense. Probably uh, this move should uh, follow like knight to h2 and knight to g4 and this knight is going to support really important e5 pawn. So one more question if you like our video okay if you like my video feel free and press like and press follow and make my day. Thank you very much and let's come back because this game is amazing and I hope you will enjoy it. So bishop to b7 and h5. First threat and the first question. It's okay for black to see white pawn on h6 or no? Yes, uh, this is a tough, tough question because for example, black should go to b6, but h6, g6 and uh, these pawns are a little bit weak. So maybe white has two options how to play this position immediately should be good to exchange dark squares bishop because if white will exchange this piece let's speak about black's weaknesses around dark squares around black's king black's king is weak net and never know what's going on and of course Karakin should enjoy this position. For example, I have idea knight to h2 knight to g4 here check and maybe soon or later checkmate i know it's not checkmate right now but that's only idea how to play this position without dark squares bishops and with dark squares weaknesses another chance um, after move to for example b6 it's to play uh, knight to h2 and knight to g4 and bishop to g5. So maybe the same position as we saw. White is trying to exchange dark squares bishop and to play uh, for attack. But black thought that everything is okay to play move h6, but he is wrong. He is wrong because sometimes it's a good idea to play g4 and g5, and this is a hook. 
bone hook and this means chance for white to play for attack at least white's got chance so bishop to f4 looks like normal move and black is playing the same move queen to b6 so only small different h5 h6 or h4 h7 but small different are making huge huge difference so at least now there's a threat bishop should take h6 or maybe not now maybe in the future but at least uh, black need to be worried because black know that white is playing for win and he need to be careful okay he's playing rook to c8 and he looks like he doesn't mind to be under attack and he looks like he will do everything possible to open left side of the chessboard and uh, for example if he will manage to do some threats or action there maybe white will not have time to start attack i am worried of black king because black king is nearly alone and nearly without any defenders and this is a danger position and danger mean move g4 okay uh, now don't be surprised that white is playing for attack and it's maybe uh, white is playing to be or to be because if he's uh, losing he's losing so he need to win and now black has feeling that something is wrong and he went back queen to d8 at least he's going to stop a move a g5 so yes it makes sense to be careful knight to h2 and losing mistake it's rook to a6 of course it's a surprise how this normal looking move should be a mistake how this move should be a losing mistake why because black's king is dead okay a better and stronger is to play b4 and to find counter uh, counterplay fast counterplay uh, on this side of the board for example c4 c3 is in the air take take and uh, maybe maybe because of open defile uh, blacks is okay because you know in open defile in open center is very hard to start attack against black's king this is a good defense position for black and of course in case of end game i believe that black is absolutely okay and maybe this will be another story but black made a mistake so uh, let's speak about this move like a little bit passive like like uh, not active move and this is a bad so white is going to h1 and still one move later mean biggest difference because one move is gone and everything changed and a rook to g1 of course if uh, this bishop on g2 is going anywhere so say h3 or f1 in the air is move g5 and that's a problem and black's king is shaking because he's there alone and only one wasted move everything is changed so knight to f4 f8 um, c4 in the air and knight is coming back to support or to defend black's king but maybe it's too late of course c4 is in the air so don't allow this move uh, it's ideal to take by knight but not big difference because black took by a c pawn okay d4 so now as we know white need to go anywhere by his bishop and it's good idea to go with a tempo so bishop to f1 and then white to start attack g5 and open g file if white will manage to open g file he is probably winning okay knight to h5 g5 okay this is a problem knight to c4 and still in the air is only one move anywhere white light squares bishop will go black's king will not be smiling anymore so <laughs> black took white took and b3 okay what's going on if for example black is taking on g5 and now he's taking on b2 say 
maybe this is interesting option because black king is a little bit weaker than a white king but uh, say uh, still this game is open okay i will show another variation for example uh, bishop to f1 knight to c4 and c3 say still the game is open you know and chess game between stop grandmaster is tough and it's only about one move small mistake and now in a difficult position of black is playing move b3 white managed to exchange dark square as bishop which is uh, every time is a good idea in french defense and he played bishop to f fun so you know it's a funny that white is playing nearly the same moves but the position is changing and sometimes uh, small change is making huge impact and big difference a3 and wow white took on g7 that's an amazing move and black king is losing and this is a great picture and uh, let's wait three three seconds and watch this position rook took on g7 and for this reason i believe that this game could be the game of the year 2021 and this game gave a sergey karakin chance to stay in the world cup so black took knight to g4 and of course there is a checkmate on h6 i will show variation for example here bishop to d3 and looks like it's game over I don't believe that uh, black will survive and of course black will not survive here. Everything is wrong and these two rooks and this piece and this knight are too far from the black skin and this is the reason why white is uh, winning. So what's happened? Uh, move f5 and uh, black is looking for a way how to escape from this danger but check and no mercy okay a queen queen but what's the most important is black king and h6 knight to h4 yes of course um, these uh, four black species are still too far and if black king is alone it's nobody going to help him and to save him and now we will see amazing checkmate so i hope you enjoy this video as you enjoy this game because well done this is a checkmate we are at the end and we saw sergey karakin great victory you know it's very tough and it's hard to play for win if you have only one chance and you need to win you have to win this is a tough and sergey karakin managed he do it and he's back so maybe we will see final karakin Carlsen and this should be a star final so i hope you enjoyed this video we are at the end so if you enjoyed feel free and press like and give me follow and made my day i hope you will so thank you very much for watching and i hope i will see you soon maybe tomorrow in our another youtube chess video thank you thank you thank you and bye bye